Hello everybody. So this is a follow-up to my previous video on this unit and with a modification. You can see that the stem is much longer and maybe I've taken some of the cosine air out of it uh, by uh, what I've done here in adjustment. But if you notice um, it's on the dial side right now, rather than on the back side. And what got prompted me to do this is, if the boring bar is in the outside hole, well, of course, you can't put the, the tool in that side. You need to use the other side. So to do that, I needed to make a taller stem. And you, it could work either way. You could have more turn on the indicator you do it either, you downturn and raise the indicator up. But what this uh, gives plenty of room, and I, I happen to have a hacked off uh, wrench here, but it gives you room to reach in there and do your adjustments and read the gauge. And uh, I got to tell you, I think I like it uh, on this side for both. Um, the Allen wrench rather than the driver uh, gives you much better view of the dial. That's something I've learned and that came from a viewer's comment. Uh, also for the torquing of it. Um, and uh, typically you don't have a tool in this side. Um, so anyway, uh, let's flip to another little video uh, where uh, I show some more uh, usage of it here. Well, hopefully you can see this. We're using the uh, two cameras here. I've got one on the uh, boring head dial and one on the test indicator. And you can see I'm on a thou on the test indicator and one thou down below. So I'm going to move one thou just for the heck of it, for starters. Right there, and I moved one thou on the dial. Nice one to one reading. The new setup, I, I like it better. Uh, it makes much more sense. And uh, the fact of using an Allen wrench instead of the driver that I was using does give you much more control. A uh, viewer had mentioned that. You can learn so much by reading comments. Well, I really hope you have stayed with me this far in this video because I really need to make a correction. And as I had mentioned a little earlier, reading comments, you learn so much. So there was quite a bit of comments about cosine error. And earlier in this video, I made the statement in red wrong stay tuned. Well, in the beginning of this video, if you notice, the indicator arm was not parallel with the surface of the boring head. Hence, it was a major cosine error. So when I dialed a thousandth on the boring head, the indicator should only have read 5 tenths. It's reading a radius, not a diameter. And when I read, when I did that, I said, wait a minute, I, I, I don't understand this. Why can prior, when I had the, the prior video, excuse me, I had the indicator mounted on the opposite side, I was reading radius. Now I put it on the dial side and I'm reading diameter. I says, it doesn't make sense. Well, a little bit more homework on cosine error and an adjustment 
of the indicator, as you see in the photo, where now it's parallel with the surface of the indicator, it reads true. It reads radius like it should. So uh, it's, I, learned, I learned a lot here, and I hope I'm sharing this with other viewers. Um, here is a, uh, a page uh, that talks about cosine air from Minotoyo. Let me put that on the screen right now. And uh, I hope that uh, you guys all pick up on this like I have. It's, it was an interesting uh, education. Back to the boring head, the new installation on the dial side, I think, is the way to go. Um, it's you have access you can see both the indicator and the indicator in, and the um, uh, the dial face at the same time and I think it's a, a, a real nice setup uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you learned something I did and as always I really appreciate uh, uh, comments and uh, subscriptions and uh, please share the video um, this is a good one for uh, learning.